Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our first contest of the evening is fought in the Fight UK lightweight division under 155 pounds. And the first fighter to enter the octagon into the blue corner. Let's hear it for Christoph Adamczyk. Okay, here I am with Christoph Adamczyk. Uh, Christoph is a veteran of Fight UK and he's fighting in our first amateur bout this evening. Christoph, how you doing, mate? Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Okay, this is going to be your third fight on Fight UK. You've won your first two, you're now 2-0. Oh. You're obviously going to look to continue the winning streak. Have you made any special preparation for this opponent? Special, that's my uh, wrestling and uh, boxing. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Well, look, I've seen you wrestling before. You're very, very strong. You're good at taking the guy on the ground and holding him down. Is that the plan for tonight, is to ground and pound? Yeah, I, I must. That's a plan game. Excellent, excellent. Well, listen, Christoph, it's nice to see you here again at Fight UK. I wish you the best of luck, and I can't wait to see you the night in the cage. Yeah. And his opponent entering into the red corner. Let's hear it for Morgan Starkey. Okay, here I am with Morgan Starkey. Uh, Morgan is fighting in our first fight tonight. He trains out of AVT in Doncaster and he's making his debut this evening on Fight UK, but he currently has a record of three wins and two losses. Uh, Morgan, how you doing, mate? I'm all right. Excellent. Um, obviously, this is your first time fighting on you Fight UK, so we don't really know more, too much about you. However, you do train with a, a very, very good team up there at AVT, yeah. obviously headed up by the UFC's Danny Mitchell. Yeah. Uh, Danny's a good friend of mine. I've known him for a long, long time, so you're obviously in, in very very good hands there. Um, how's your training been going for this particular fight? Do you know anything about your opponent? Uh, no, I don't really know too much about him. Uh, I didn't really trained for the fight. Uh, I only took it on Tuesday. So I just take them as they come, really. Okay. I don't really train for anything. I just keep but in shape. Obviously, you've got a constant yeah, regime yeah, going, I just, yeah? I just keep in shape and just keep training. And then when a fight comes on, I'll just... Excellent. Well, look, that's the attitude that we like. That's a true fighter's attitude. Anytime, any place, anywhere, and we really, really love that. Now, obviously, coming from uh, coming from uh, coming from a background with Danny Mitchell, who's a, an exceptional jiu-jitsu practitioner, I would assume that your ground game's pretty tight, yeah? It, yeah, it's it's not too bad. I prefer my stand up. Yeah. But. Uh... Yeah, I'm getting better on ground. And obviously your nickname's Pitbull, so are we expecting yeah, some aggression coming out yeah, here tonight? Is that where it comes from? That's it, yeah. Good, good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Poland. He's 26 years old, stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, and weighed in at 154 pounds. He fights for Suggy's Gym and has a perfect mixed martial arts record of two contests with two wins. Let's hear it for Christoph Adamczyk. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Bradford. He's 25 years old. Stands 5 feet 5 inches tall and weighed in at 155 pounds. He fights for AVT and has a mixed martial arts record with five contests, three wins and two losses. Let's hear it for Morgan a Pitbull a Starkey. Your referee in charge of this contest is Mr. Leon Roberts and this contest is fought over three three-minute rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are, opening fight of the evening at Fight UK, last man standing, the lightweight tournament on the line today. But opening this up, Christopher Damchik against Morgan Starkey, amateur attraction in the lightweight division, and Ben Cartledge. And with me is Lloyd the Maverick himself, Clarkson, looking forward to some good action here. AVT, known for having that ethos of their guys fighting anybody, anywhere. Interesting to see how Starkey approaches this. Yeah, it feels good to be back here today. Always bringing the pain as we say that barrage of overhand rights there from Adamczyk. We're going to see uh, a fair bit of standing striking here, which is the usual with the amateur rules as they're going to try and learn each other, trying to gain each other's reach. Interesting to see the different stances. There we go. Adamczyk gets the takedown. Very low single on that. Got the pick and now he's working. Starkey looking to try and regard if he can. Maybe roll under for the arm, but it doesn't really have a 
a good grip in it, but it, being this active on the bottom initially is giving his opponent a lot to think about, obviously, and that can be the difference so often we see in these amateur fights. Yeah, we're seeing more amateur fighters very, very, very well versed across the board in martial arts, and the result of that is seeing that the wrestling has really come on strong the last few years, amateur level, and uh, and the guard work, as we saw, uh, you know, we saw Starkey there spin 360 degrees on his hips um, straight away transitioned from a potential three different submissions and decided they're not going to work and now he's trying to get that guard back in there it is half guard it'd be interesting to see what's he going to do is he going to lock it down is he going to be fluent with it damn it looking to lay a few shots down and now full guard from stark he's done well there to reclaim that position he has in my opinion i'd like to see a damn trick try and concentrate more on that guard and less on Trying to punch uh, Morgan Starkey in the face, which, don't get me wrong, is a great technique. But guard is a dangerous position to be in. And there we can see Starkey attempting to move higher up. I think as well, Lloyd, what Starkey's got to be mindful of in these amateur ranks as we see so often. You're looking at short rounds, three-minute rounds. It's giving up the takedown just once, is it? Often enough in these amateur three-minute rounds to decide the winner and the loser of a, a round. So if he is content to sit here on the bottom and work from his guard. He's got to be very active because the time frames we're talking about are obviously a lot shorter than, than if he was fighting pro and he had a full five minutes. You're absolutely right then. Yeah, I'm on at my lads with this all the time. You know, if you lose a takedown, it's, it's one of the biggest scoring aspects of an MMA round. As Adam Chick there passes, he's got one leg through, so he's gone from full guard to half guard. He's, looking, he's going for my move there. Look at that. That's one of my favorites, crucifix there. Still with a leg stuck in half guard, he's managed to work a crucifix. He's given up on the shots, now he's back on the shots. Starkey's got his right hand free, so it's not that full Matt Hughes style crucifix. And there, look, Starkey working off his hips, he's out of there. He doesn't, he doesn't want to play this game anymore. Back up, 10 seconds to go. Final 10, solid three minutes from both guys. Adamczyk pushing the pace a little bit more. End of round one. So uh, let's see where this takes us for round two. It is Morgan Starkey in the red shorts against Christoph Adamczyk in the black shorts. Starkey started off a little bit wild, it's fair to say, with this strike. It'd be interesting to see how he takes his time. Adamczyk throws an overhand right, doesn't quite connect, but not far, not far off the money with that one. A nice leg kick. Damchek is very well chiselled for a lightweight, isn't he, Ben? If extremely big for this uh, weight category, and I think uh, that's something that he really used for his, uh, his advantage there. And a jumping front kick once again from Starkey. Acrobatic, but doesn't quite land. Starkey needs to get out of that range, because as soon as you watch a Damchek, his hands are down, he's confident, he's ready. As soon as uh, Starkey comes near him, he's landing those combos. Two, three shot combos, they're simple, but they're landing and they're hurting. Swing and a miss from Adamczyk, that huge overhand right. Not quite connecting. And this round already spent more time than the last round on the on the feet. And as I say that, Adamczyk comes in for the takedown. Starkey looking to stuff it. Adamczyk sends him tumbling to the canvas and now looks to take his man's back. Oh, he dies, but he's dived a little bit too, far, too eager on that one. He missed the hooks, didn't he, Ben? The hooks weren't in. And as a result, we're back standing again in a clinch position. Broken clinch, back standing again, and we're back in that range again, and Adamczyk's going to try and work the shots. He's fighting a clever fight, Ben. He's working the takedown, scoring the points, but is it enough? And once again, that relentless style, that takedown, he's got his man, and if he can get the hands gripped, it looks like he has. Class together. There and Robert's go. having a word there. Obviously, no elbows under the amateur rules. Yeah, it is... Uh, very often unintentional these guys will train full pro rules constantly day in day out so I'm sure that was not meant maliciously there from Morgan Starkey it does happen it's unfortunate Leon Roberts there will be slapping his wrist and we'll be back in the action I think Leon just gave him a warning there but obviously made him aware that under the amateur rules obviously elbows not allowed and more to the point I believe he said any more of that and we will be looking at point deductions it's great referee in that really given the given the, uh, the fighters there a, a chance. Had it been a, an elbow strike that was maybe a bit more concussive or, or resulted in a big cut, then obviously maybe a point deduction. A spinning back, as I say, that would have been necessary. But yeah, a great bit of refereeing from Leon there. Keeping the fight flowing. There's a damn chick stalking once again on the outside. Looking to land those shots. Starkey game as they come, though. 
not afraid to stand in that range where it seems it's to it's Adamczyk is a bit, tad more comfortable. And once again, shoots in that double and gets it from the outside. Switches to single. I've got to be honest, I'm really impressed with Adamczyk's wrestling. He's very, very, very high-level wrestling. Look, he's doing really well because for the most part, he's not really disguising the shots behind anything. We're not seeing him at the end of a combo or, or at, the end of, uh, at the end of some strikes. He's still managing to catch his man and take him down. But stark has got the measure of scrambling up and he realizes how important it is. Wild shots go across there. Yeah, absolutely. These shots from Adamczyk, I mean, they are massive, telegraph, huge, powerful shots for a lightweight. And uh, Starkey there throwing some big leather back. I mean, what I'd like to see, I'd like to see Starkey personally waiting for these big shots to come in, timing it, ducking under and working a takedown all of his own. We haven't really seen that wrestling game from Starkey yet, have we? Starkey really, both guys really loading up here. Final takedown attempt by Adamczyk and we go to the bell. So round three of three, Christoph Adamczyk, Morgan Starkey, AVT versus Suggies. And from Starkey's point of view, with the, the better round he had in the second, you've got to think he'd be looking to carry that momentum, carry that momentum forward and press forward with a bit of pressure. Yeah, for me, it's a bit close. I think uh, Adamczyk has pushed the wrestling quite hard. And that's for, for me, much better. Sorry, load with a takedown defense there and a nice knee to the body as well. It was, yeah, it was very good. He underhooked and stacked his opponent, sprawled his leg out, which he's going to struggle to do this time because Adamczyk has really pulled that single in. But there's the, there it is again, the technique, sprawling that leg out. And he is down. It is interesting. We could really see the, the grappling game of Starkey when it hits the mat. His grappling is there, top notch. But uh, Adamczyk is just relentless with these takedowns. He's just he's a ground fighter. He's taking him down, damaging him, not working the submissions. But that's that's enough. Now Starkey going in for a takedown of his own, and Adamczyk just kicks his legs down. No, no, thank you. I'm staying standing. No, thank you very much. Hips very high he's on down. Starkey, but he did well to complete that. It was grabbing the hands. I thought with his hips being that high, he might have struggled, but quickly rolled over. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Uh, no, he's escaped. That was fine. I was going to say Adamczyk just had what looked like a Brabo on there. He's reapplied it, but it's not that deep. We can see he's not gripping his own bicep. It's not through where it should be. As he works the back of Starkey, oh, suplex. Fantastic takedown there. Beautiful suplex there, but he surrendered the position with it. He has, and this is exactly what I'm on about. It, Adamczyk is, is relentless with his wrestling. It's fantastic. He's strong. His striking is amazing. To, to finish this package off, we just need to see the submission attempts. And we can hear uh, Adamczyk's corner. Not very happy with the knee there thrown from Starkey. I think that did go up to the center of the body. It might have skipped up. You're right, but the, the primary impact was firmly in the solar plexus. It is, bit yeah. Bit of games from the corner and a beautiful judo Another throw take there. Down. Another takedown from Adamczyk there. And at this late stage of the game, this could be the difference maker, really. I think you're right, Ben. If you can maintain this position, land a few shots. Obviously, Leon Roberts taking a good look at the proceedings. But if he's busy enough, can maintain top position, score a little bit, then yeah. But all credit to Starkey. I think after that first round where he was where he was held down and controlled a little bit, I think mentally he came out in the second and in the third, and he's tried to every time he's got down his corner said, "Look, get yourself up, get yourself out," and that's what he's trying to do now. In all fairness, it is. Yeah, I mean he is he is relentless. But let's not forget he's up against a guy that somehow is a lightweight. And I, <laughs> he, you, I would not be surprised if someone told me that this guy was coming in at 80 and cutting to 77, but somehow he's 70 kilos. As we go to the end of round three. It goes to judge's decision. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after three hard four rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. All three judges have rendered a unanimous decision, scoring the contest 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28 in favor of your winner. From the blue corner, Christoph Adamczyk. But let's hear it for a very gallant challenger. Let's hear it for Morgan Starkey.